Right, today I'm gonna to do something that's been long overdue. I'm gonna upgrade my home security to make sure my bikes are safe at home. Hopefully give you some tips along the way. Thanks to Abbas, I've got all the kit I need to make sure everything's nice and secure. So I keep my bikes in my garage, which is attached to the main house. Uh, it's kind of my hangout, it's where all my kit goes. Loads of bikes, my shoes, my racks, uh, you know, all my bike stuff. I like hanging out in here, working on my bike, got my music, got my motorbike. I've even got a Porsche build in the workshop at the moment. So anyway, I like hanging out in here. But it's also quite secure having my bikes basically inside the house. Uh, so you know, I know some people don't have that option, they might be keeping their bikes in their shed or in the garage, but the first line of defense really is to make sure that people can't get in to where your bikes are. So I like to make sure I've got a decent door. And also, I, really important I think, is to make sure people don't really know you've got bikes. I never carry a bike on a bike rack on the car. So I know some people, uh, I've heard of this, people are uh, getting followed back from where they're riding. Uh, and then people just know you've got bikes. So don't leave them outside, I try not to show them off at all, just stick them in the house and have them under lock and key. So I have an alarm and security camera outside on my house. So sensors on the doors, motion sensors. So if anyone comes in, hopefully that's gonna be enough to put them off. Also, it's all on an app as well. So if I'm ever away, it's a nice peace of mind to think if I'm away for a week, you know, I might not know that everything's gone, but at least I can check on my phone. But one of the problems with that is I never had any internal cameras. So, you know, the, once the alarm did go off, uh, and it was one of the sensors. Turns out it's probably like a shadow moving or a door blowing in draft or whatever. But because I then can't check inside the house, still a bit worrying. So I am gonna set up a couple of these cameras. So these are the Abbas wireless battery cameras. So they're motion sensors, they can record things as well. So you stick little uh, SD cards into the base station. And you can set them on schedules as well. So I'm gonna do it so during sort of 11 p.m. till probably six in the morning, I'll have these things set to record motion when it goes off. So if anything happens inside the house and out, uh, I'm gonna know. Alarm on the house, I think it's really important. You know, if I'm not here, then hopefully the neighbors are gonna do something about it, but at least I'll know that someone's in the house. So these cameras are completely wireless. They've got like an internal rechargeable battery with USB there. Last ages, super easy to deal with. HD uh, video on them. Uh, it's got a motion sensor, so it will record any motion if you set it up like that. And uh, got night vision as well. So I feel like uh, an alarm and cameras gives you really good peace of mind, but it doesn't necessarily stop someone getting into your house. So if they are in, then you wanna make sure they can't just pick up your bike and run off with it. So it's a really good idea to have your bikes locked inside your house somehow. And the basics are, the heavier a lock is, the stronger it's gonna be, sort of pure physics. The more material there is, the harder it's gonna be to cut. Because, as you may have seen in some of those videos of thieves, they have sort of portable battery powered angle grinders or bolt croppers, and they can just, with a bit of time, they can get through almost anything. So it'd be interesting to see just how strong this lock is. So this is a cheap lock, less than 10 pounds from my sort of local DIY shop. And I've also got some cheap bolt croppers. Uh, you can get much bigger ones than this. I wanna see how long a lock like this will last against some proper tools. So I'm gonna use this ABBA Steel O-Chain 9808. Uh, it's obviously super flexible. You can feel the chain inside there. Those bolt crops aren't even gonna go around that. So if someone wants to get through this, they're probably gonna to have to use an angle grinder. Obviously that's gonna make a load of noise. It's gonna take some time to do it. Uh, so this is a uh, level 12 security on Abbas's scale, 15 being the max, so nice and secure, it's nice and heavy. And I'm gonna to have to lock my bikes using this and I'm gonna use a wall anchor on the wall. So I've got this Abbas Granite WBA100, it's a 20 level security for their anchors. So this is a big one, secures directly to the wall or the floor. 
using these big fixings, you actually sort of punch these ball bearings into those. So even if uh, thieves come equipped with tools, like a six mile key, they can't wind it out. So this is gonna go on the wall and then my chain will go through it. Right, for bike storage, my space is fairly limited in here, plus I'm lucky enough to get loads of bikes for GMN duties, plus some of my own. So I've got quite a few bikes. And for ages, I had the sort of old fashioned hooks where they're just static, just on the wall. And it was a real pain trying to get like one bike out of the middle was really hard. I had to take loads of bikes out to get to it. So I've come up with a bit of a better solution. Well, actually, I've got this ingenious uh, space rail. So it basically lets me move all the bikes out of the way, but also then back together. So when I want to lock them, I can slide them all up to each other. Uh, so basically, it's got these hooks that are kind of spring loaded, so they don't move until you stick a bit of weight on there. And now you can slide your bike along or spin it round. So it lets you get your bikes up super close to each other which is really good for locking them together. Put the wall anchor in the corner and I'm gonna use this steel O-chain to then hook through that wall anchor and then through the bikes. But the great thing about this is I've actually got a few of these and these are all key matched. So the three locks all use the same key, makes it super handy. And then also you can link them together to make a, an extra long one. So you can get these in different lengths anyway. I've got the 1.7 meter lengths. So I've got three of these. So obviously I can get up to three and a half meters. Right, that's it. Bikes are secure. Yeah, I could go to town a bit with locking wheels up, but inside the house, I'm not going to bother. It's too inconvenient. If I want to go for a ride now, super simple, just undo this, slide the bikes out of the way, get the one I want, and go. Uh, and I think, but you know, if the alarm's going off, these aren't gonna be able to get cut through really quickly. So it's gonna really put someone off trying to come in here and take my bikes. If you're going for a ride from home, maybe you wanna leave your house key at home so you don't risk losing it on the ride, then these key safes are a good option. This is a simple combination one that goes on the outside of your house, attached securely, then obviously use your combination, put your key inside there. Or there is a smart version of that as well. So this is Bluetooth, so you actually use your phone to unlock this, or a combination as well. It's got both options, but it's obviously battery powered. Same thing, attached inside your house, or another really good option, it's got a shackle. So I've used these before to my van. Uh, if you don't want to take your van key ride in, then you can actually lock this to your van and put your key inside it, again, using your phone to unlock it. But it's, uh, it's not completely waterproof, it's IP54, so you still want to give it, uh, leave it somewhere fairly protected, but a couple of options if you don't want to take your keys with you when you go for a ride. The last lot that I use is this travel guard. It's super lightweight, it's got a combination. So yeah, it's not heavyweight, it's secure, but my boy uses this when he rides his bike to school, just gonna put someone off just grabbing his bike and legging it. To be honest, I don't really ever go out on my mountain bike and leave it unattended because it's too nice a thing. I wouldn't want to risk it get stolen. But if you do, check out the video that Doddy's done in the past on looking after your bike out and about. However, I do ride my urban e-bike, aka the dream machine, for taking kids, picking up crates of beer and skids and wheelies. Love this thing. This is the ugliest bike I've ever owned, but it's so useful. It's my Orbea Katu E. Use it basically as a car replacement for doing all my jobs around town and for commuting. So I leave this bike in town uh, every day. And for that, I make sure that it's properly secure. So this is the Bordeaux Smart Alarm. It's a folding lock. You can get a keyed version as well, but well, this is the keyless. A Bluetooth version, so you use your smartphone to lock and unlock this thing. Also shows you where your bike is located. Uh, it's their max security level 15 lock, so great for my e-bike. You can also get this key match with a lot of Bosch bikes. So they'll have a key for the battery and also a lot of them have these wheel locks as well. So again, you can have one key that runs everything on your e-bike, so super handy. So 
So it's max level security, use your phone to unlock it, but it's also got an alarm on it. So if people start fiddling with your bike, if it starts getting moved, it'll give them a warning and eventually it'll start beeping at them. All right, thanks to Abbas, uh, I'm secure. Bikes should be good because I don't know about you, but I'm always hearing about bikes getting nicked. So it's nice to make sure everything's under lock and key. Don't want my pride and joy getting nicked. Let me know if you've got any tips down below or if you've been unfortunate enough to have a bike stolen and what you've done about it. Uh, give a thumbs up if you hate bike thieves.